Hey guys, it's Adam back with a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade or update every iOS i device with only one step. It's really easy and you will not get any errors because this application does everything for you. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, it's Adam back with a new video. So just like I said, I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade or upgrade your iOS version with only one click. It's really easy and all you need is a computer. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Okay, so you guys, for this tutorial to work, in order for this to work, you have to have a computer. It's not different if you have a Mac or a Windows. It's the same procedure on both OS, okay? So if I do it on Mac, you have to do it the same way on Windows because it's the same way, okay? So you first have to go to the link in the description and once you're there, you will be taken to this website which is called Tino Share. And just to be honest, the look of the website already makes you think that this process is going to be really easy. And as you can see, it's really professionally well done. And uh, I mean, you just want to download the application and start away because uh, I mean, the look of the website makes you think that it's going to be easy. Okay, so you first got to go to the link in the description and once you're there, you need to go down to where you see I any go and make sure to buy the product or download the free version so for today's video I'm going to download the free trial for Mac and if you're on Windows just make sure to click on that okay so just wait for the application to be downloaded and then you have to install it and I will show you what to do next okay but guys before you upgrade or downgrade your iOS version make sure to do a backup of your iOS device and I'm going to show you how to do that as well because you can do the same thing with this program as well so as you can see now the application is downloaded we just need to open it and as you can see uh, the installation is the same procedure on Windows or on Mac on Mac you need to drag this to the application folder and it's already installed and on Windows it's the same thing okay so once it's actually actually installed just make sure to open the application from your launchpad as you can see this is the application that we have and uh, thanks for uh, tinoshare.com they give me the registration account for this application so I can use it uh, so I can use the paid version actually so yeah so as you can see we have the application over here and it's asking us to connect our iOS device so I'm just going to connect that real fast as you can see guys now we have our iPhone connected to our laptop and you need to choose the option that you want if you want to downgrade just make sure to click on this and if you want to upgrade make sure to click on this so for today's example we're going to click on downgrade so we're just going to do that and as you can see it's uh, given us all the available firmwares that we can downgrade okay so for example this is the iOS 10.3 and our iPhone is actually on iOS 11 so uh, as you can see we can uh, downgrade to iOS 10 and it's really easy because all you need to do is click on download and then once the downloading is finished you need to press on downgrade now and it will downgrade your iOS device and if you click on this it will keep all your data and none of it will be lost okay so it's really that easy there's nothing complicated about it I'm just going to stop this because I'm going to show you how to upgrade as well so uh, if you have the uh, the IPSW downloaded you can manually choose it over here in case you don't want to download it with this folder or with this application so we're just going to go to the upgrade option just make sure to click on this and if you have any iOS versions available for update you can do that the same way just by click of a button okay so um, that's it guys I hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching and see you next time